We're up in the attic. <clears throat> and this again is me being a bad homeowner, I guess. Notice the water in my overflow pan. So I was just out on the deck talking on the phone and I <clears throat> kind of catch something dripping out of the corner of my eye. Sure enough, it's my emergency overflow line. So thank God it worked because my pan up here had water in it and it was running. That's my emergency line right there going out. It goes around and then goes out through the eave. And I'll come up here and sure enough, this little port's full. I don't know if this is a universal thing or a thing in the south or what, but we have to dump bleach or some sort of you know, drain cleaner in the drain. You're supposed to do it about once or twice a year. Well, I always forget to. And Heck, in my old house, I actually had to go through and replace all the drain lines because they were so plugged up I couldn't get them cleaned. And I just got this one broke loose, it, it seems anyway. And I was just going to show you how I was doing it. See, I don't, you don't know where the obstruction is. I assume right here in this P-trap. I don't know that for sure. So I had this scrap of zip tie here. I was jamming it down in there. I was getting around the corner and about to there, but then it would lock up. And so I don't think I was really hitting the obstruction. And it's not like it's a solid obstruction. It's just a, the drain just kind of closes in on itself. It just gets this kind of slime in it. So I got my old trusty air hose here. And I don't have a good way to get a seal on it, but just stuck it in there and jetted the line. And at first when I was doing that, it was actually backing up into the evaporator coil. So then when I would take the hose off, it would just fill right back up. But I kept doing it and um, just fighting with it. And it seems now it's broke loose because now you can look down in and well, I think you guys can look down in. You can see the water down in the bottom of the P-trap, but it's not completely full. It was filling up to the top. So I'm going to go ahead and dump. Forgive me, I took my headlamp off so you guys could see. I'm going to go ahead and dump the rest of this bottle of CLR, which I don't know that you're supposed to use CLR necessarily. Um... I guess you could use something like a Drano. Uh, most people just say use bleach, but I'm gonna use the rest of that CLR and I wanted to get it cleared. It's finally, the, the coils have finally finished draining for the most part. So now if I dump it, I should get a good sweep of pure uh, drain cleaner. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump that on down and uh, then we'll turn the unit back on and I guess it's fixed, I don't know. But I'll keep jetting it with air here a little bit. Just hopefully that air will help blow out um, if it's got an opening, it'll help expand that opening and clean it. But anyway, I just figured I'd mention this. Something for you guys, if you don't know about doing this, absolutely do it. Like I said, I, I never did it in my old house. I was a poor steward. And somehow I got away with it for several years, never had any problems. Um, when I went and replaced the drain lines, it was actually, I think, just from years prior. Because the entire line was full. Anyway, yeah, just figured I'd mention it. If you guys don't know about it, now you do. So... Get up in your attic and dump some bleach down your uh, drain line on your air conditioner and clean it out.